tonight, a Target 12 investigation, months in the making. The store's been selling alcohol to people who are already clearly drunk. No? no. You sure about that? Yes. We have it on tape. Our undercover cameras catch a Providence business making money by breaking the law, contributing to a problem so widespread it's tying up ambulances, creating a dangerous delay that puts you and your family at risk. The liquor store we caught is feeding into an epidemic that is crippling the city's rescue system. Target 12 investigator Tim White is live with this exclusive report. There are six rescue companies in Providence, and it's not unusual to have them all tied up, bringing intoxicated people to the hospital. For you, the result, the city is forced to ask its neighbors for help, adding minutes to response time when seconds mean life or death. Spend a few hours with Rescue Company One in South Providence, and you'll understand why they made more than 4,000 runs in 2006. Right now, it's chaos at this time of day. All the rescues are out. Lieutenant Michael Morse, a firefighter for 16 years, has been on a rescue company for more than a decade. He's seen just about everything, but the one call he gets the most, getting dangerously drunk people to Good a job, hospital. I've never really done a hard study, but it seems that 30 to 50 percent, depending on the day, um, intoxicated. Uh, is the main complaint. The problem is not new, but the crippling effect it has on the state's critical care system is alarming. In 2006 alone, Providence had to ask other fire departments for an ambulance more than 2,300 times, meaning a call to 911 could be met with critical delay. They need a rescue, and they need a rescue badly, and a rescue is not available because we're all full of drunk people in the back of our trucks and we have to get a, a rescue from Warwick or Cumberland or Lincoln. They're going to wait and they're going to, uh, their condition's going to worsen. To see the problem firsthand, the Target 12 investigators rode along with Rescue Company 1. The experience was eye-opening. Did he hit by this car? One, two, three. All right, Mikey, let's roll. I'm going to need another rescue. Tommy's okay. Be there in two minutes. The first three hours of our ride along with Rescue One has been nonstop. In fact, since five o'clock, there have been three separate calls for an intoxicated person. Just after sunset, another call for someone who's had too much. Uh, be advised, that could be a frequent flyer. Appreciate He's a regular who goes by Jimmy. Moore says he often brings the same person to the hospital twice in one day. Many of them drink themselves to death. All right, I'm going to put down on the report just so you know that you appear intoxicated. We wanted to know the answer to this question. Hey, we didn't get your vodka anyways. Jimmy didn't want to share, but Target 12 has learned a hot spot for these calls is the 1000 block of Broad Street. There we found Hernandez Liquors. For two months, we set up our undercover cameras outside the liquor store. Day after day, we watched the same scene play out. Men and women openly drinking, mainly vodka, sometimes draining almost an entire bottle at once. Then they'd beg for more money and head back to Hernandez Liquors to buy another bottle of booze. Rhode Island state law prohibits the sale of alcohol to, quote, any intoxicated person or even to those who are known to excessively drink. Our surveillance shows Hernandez Liquors was blatantly ignoring the law. We witnessed this man share an entire bottle with a friend, then cross the street and enter the liquor store. Moments later, he emerges, fresh bottle of vodka in hand. Watch as he staggers leaving the store. We had seen enough. Hello. This is Pepe Hernandez. His brother owns the shop. Pepe works the counter. We've been keeping the store under surveillance for a few months. The store's been selling alcohol to people who are already clearly drunk. No? No. You sure about that? Yes. We have it on tape. Good two months straight. Guys can barely cross the street. They come in here and they, they buy that stuff right there. You know what I'm talking about, right? Hernandez says he can do nothing about people buying for others, but despite our evidence, he repeatedly denies selling to drunk customers. Do you see the ambulances come and pick these guys up all, all over the time? Over here across the street? Mm -hmm. You see the ambulances come and take them away? You realize you guys play a big part in that? You don't think so? So you know that it's illegal to sell people booze when they're already drunk? Yes, I do. Our investigation clearly shows the impact on public safety. In fact, the problem has gotten so bad, Rhode Island Hospital plans to open a center to deal with intoxicated patients this spring. 
Live with the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News. WPRI web video journalist Dan Haggerty joined the Target 12 investigators on our ride along with Rescue One. See Dan's exclusive video and his report by logging on to our website, WPRI.com.